Hi there. I know we missed the first weekend in June, so my goal is to get two videos done this week so we find a way to get all four in in the month. <laughs> Just all ad adapting with the baby and everything. Anyway, we're starting with our dessert of the month. We are making lemon bars because it's summertime and that's a fun summer treat. All right, let's get to it. It's time for another episode of Cooking with Caitlin. That's me. Enjoy. All right, Ellen, to explain this, I forgot to charge the microphone. So I'm just charging it while using it. Hopefully that's working. All right, we are starting with the crust of our lemon bars. We've got our oven preheating to 350. Got two and a half cups of flour, two thirds cup powdered sugar. And we're gonna do half a teaspoon of salt. All right. We're gonna whisk that all together. Kind of getting in there, powdered sugar kind of clumps. So we're just getting that all, all good and done. All right, now we have a stick and a half or 12 tablespoons of butter melted. Well, actually, I might need to melt it for a little bit more. Hang on. Okay, got all that melted butter in there and everything. Didn't realize a portion of it had not melted. Now we're just blending it up. We're gonna add just one more little thing. Just a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. And that is our last for the crust. So just gonna blend, finish blending this up. I mean, kind of getting that out too. But I hope everyone is doing well. I hope your summers are starting off well. Aside from just learning to adapt to schedules and such, we're doing well. We are lucky and very blessed with our little baby. Yeah. It was growing like a weed, my goodness. You hear it said, until you got your own. It's harder to comprehend, even with friends' kids. You don't always see it quite the same way. It's with your own when you kind of look back, like, it's just been a few months. They're humongous now, by comparison. All right, let me grab the pan one sec.
All right, so we have done our zest of three lemons. Should be between two to three tablespoons. Now we're going to juice those lemons. We're aiming for a cup of lemon juice. So let's hope that works. Okay, here you guys can see there. And obviously any seeds that come out We will take out because we don't want seeds in this. And I always do it both ways. See, there's a seed I'm going to have to get out. All right, so I just always do both ways to make sure I've gotten all the juice possible. We'll check back when I'm done. All right, I did have to top this off with a little bit of lemon juice uh, I had on a squirt thing in the fridge. But all right, I'm about to move on to the next step, so hang tight. All right, so in the food processor, I'm doing half of the sugar, which is three cups, and half of uh, the lemon zest. And I'm gonna pulse them together. Um, until they're fully combined, then I'll do the rest with the other half of each. All right, and I don't know if I pointed out, but we brought the crust out a little bit ago. Done the uh, halves of the sugar and zest. So you get this nice, very light yellow uh, sugar coming out off of that. Hang one sec. Just realized I didn't put this back on. All right, so now we're going to combine everything really well. We've got um, half a cup of flour going in with that. Our cup of lemon juice. We de-seeded, we believe. And then eight eggs. Now we're just going to mix it up really well. All right, time to dust with powdered sugar. See, I lifted them out of the casserole. Just gonna do that, and then all you have to do is cut them up, serve, and enjoy. Yeah. Sorry, I just do it through the sifter because it's just a little easier to 
kind of control powdered sugar. I'm just going to close the powdered sugar up first because I'm trying to avoid an insane mess. Alrighty, just, sorry, I just grabbed my big knife to, to help it kind of cleanly go through. Ah. Ooh, look at that. Bon appétit. We'll see you later.